Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Maths. It's great to see you again. We've been really busy this week so far. We've learned our doubles, we've played with doubles. We were learning about one more yesterday. Today, we're gonna to be learning about one less. But first, I thought we might play a little game. Up at the top there, I've got my title. It says, Odd One Out. We played this a little bit before. Um, but now, what I'm gonna show you is a picture with lots of groups of different things. Most of them are the same. And one of them is different. One of them has a different amount, a different number. Let's see how quickly you can spot which one it is. I'm going to give you a countdown from 10. What I want you to do is point at the screen. Where is the odd one out? All right, simple as that. Here we go. Are you ready? On the count of three, point to the odd one out. Point to it. <gasps> Which one is it? Where's the odd one out? It's the two, isn't it? This one right here. There are two blocks here in this representation, this picture. But what have we got here? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many coins? Five. It's the same. How many yellow discs? Five. It's the same. Five straws, five coins, five yellow discs and two green cubes. The cubes are the odd one out. Well done if you got it. We're gonna have a go at another one. Here we go, are you ready? Another picture with some groups of objects. Point to the one that doesn't belong, the one that is different, the odd one out. You have 10 seconds. Ready, steady, count. One point. Which one is the odd one out? Which one is different? That's right. This one here. What does this picture show us? Five. Well done. And how many coins do we have? Two. How many yellow discs? Two. And what does our Numicon show us? Two. This shows us two. This shows us two, they're the same. This shows us two, they're the same. This doesn't show us two. What does this show us? Five. Here we go again. Are you ready to count? We've got 10 seconds. One, two, three, count. Point to the odd one out. Well done. This is a little bit more tricky. I think my, I think my head's in the way a little bit, isn't it? Um, did you all point to this one? What's this picture showing us? Five, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five straws. How many green cubes are there? Three. It's not the same. How many coins are there? Three. It's the same as these, but not the same as these. These two are the same. And what's our Numicon show us? Three. We have three and three and three. They're the same. This is the odd one out. This shows us a different amount. This has got five. Okay, are you ready to spot this one? Okay, you know what you're doing. Count all the objects and find the one that's different. Find the one that's got a different amount. 
Most of them will be the same, one of them will be different. Are you ready to count? One, two, three. One, point at the odd one out. Where is it? Oh yes, here it is. It's this five frame full of coins. What does it mean when a five frame is full? That there are five, well done. There are one, two, three, four, five, five coins. And that's different, is it? How many yellow discs are there? This is true, there's only one. How many straws are there? That's right, there's only one. <gasps> but one straw and one yellow disc, that's the same amount, isn't it? What about that Numicon there, this orange one? What does that show us? That shows us one as well, one straw, one Numicon, one yellow disc are all the same. Five coins is the odd one out. Well done. Okay, are you ready to learn something new? Right, everyone. So yesterday, we sang a song, an adding song. We added one more each time, and the number of things that we had grew larger by one. The amount got bigger by one. Today, I want to have a look at the opposite, the inverse, where our numbers get smaller by one. They get fewer by one. We're going to sing a little song as well, but first, I thought we might see if we could represent it with our fingers. So I'd like you to show me Five fingers. Well done. There's my five. Now, I would like us to have one fewer, one less to take away one. Now, how many fingers do we have now? That's right. We have four. One less than five is four. You say, one less than five is four. Now we have four. Let's make it one fewer, one less. Let's take away one. And how many fingers do we have? Yes, we have three. You're doing so well today, well done. We have three. Hmm. One less than four is three. And we can carry on like this. But what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to collect something to count with. Maybe you're going to use some soft toys again like you might have done yesterday. Or you can use anything you want. You're going to need five of them. And here is our song. It's a song about a family of ducks. Represent the five little ducks with your counting object. Five little ducks. Now, when they went over the hill and far away, they came back one fewer. Take one of your little ducks away and say with me, one less than five is 
four. You say, one less than five is four. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the fields and far away. Mama duck said, whack, 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 and only three little ducks came back. So you should have your four little ducks still in front of you. And now, after they went over the hill and far away, one fewer came back. One less. One less than four is three. Take away one of your counting objects and say with me. One less than four is three. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the fields and far away. Mama duck said whack, whack. Three little ducks went swimming one day. After they went over the hills and far away, one less, one fewer returned. One less than three is two. Three take away one is two. You say this with me. One less than three is two. Well done. Let's keep singing. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the fields and far away. Mama duck said whack, 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 and only one little duck came back. So we had two ducks swimming over the hills and one fewer came back, one less. Show me with your counting objects. Well done. One less than two is one. You say. One less than two is one. Well done. Working hard, everyone. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said whack, 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 but no little duck. One little duck went swimming, and now there's one less, one fewer. One less than one is none. Hmm. What's the other way of saying none? Oh yes, I remember, zero. One fewer than one is zero. You say with me, one less than one is zero. One less than one is zero. Sad mother duck went swimming one day over the fields and far away. Mother duck said whack, 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 and all the five little ducks came back. Well done, great singing everyone. Let's have a look what that looks like on a tense frame. So let's build our song here. So at the beginning of the song, we started with five little ducks. There, I've used five orange cubes on my tense frame to represent the five little ducks at the beginning of the story. Now, you all remember that those little ducks swam over the hill and far away. And when Mummy Duck called them back, there was one less. There was one fewer. And this is what, subtracting one, taking one away, one fewer looks like. Can you see that the number of cubes on my tense frame is less? There is one less. I made it a smaller amount. A smaller amount by one cube. 
So here is my number line. And here is our five. That's how many we started with. Five little ducks. I represented that with five cubes. Five. And then we took one away. So we have one less than five. And just like when we added one, we went next door to the number that is one more, that is greater by one. If we're going to do the same with one less, we've got to go to the number that is smaller by one. And it happens to be next door as well. There it is. So one less than five, five take away one, leaves us with four. Let's look at that one last time. So here is our one, two, three, four, four little ducks. They went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck called, quack, 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 quack. And only three little ducks came swimming back. Can you see three? That's right. One, two, three. So we need to take away this one cube to represent what happened in the story. There were four. Now there is one less. We took one away. One less than four is three. So let's see that on the number line again. Okay, so here is the number that we started with, four. I had four orange cubes representing the four little ducks. And we, um, we taught the story that there was one less, one fewer. We had four to start with and one fewer came back. So just like we did before, we start with four and we go to the next number that means one less, that's smaller by one. Three. Four, take away one, leaves us with three. One less than four is three, you say. One less than four is three. Well done. Okay, so let me show you your main job for today. It's going to be very similar to what we did yesterday, but let me show you how to play. You're gonna to need to build your own number blocks from one all the way up to 10. Okay, you can see I've got some here. I've made them with my cubes. Like I said yesterday, you might choose to use Lego bricks or Duplo bricks or some other counting object that you have at home. Also, we're going to need some numerals. Today I've chosen magnetic ones that might go on my fridge. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to choose a numeral. I'm going to choose this one here. What does it say? Four. And I'm going to find the number block that shows four. There it is. Hmm. Now, I would like to find out what one less than four is. So the way to do that very easily is I'm going to take my block of four and I'm going to take away one, so that the tower is one less. It is one fewer. Hmm. Now, this tower looks very similar to this tower. Can you see? When I took away one, It is now the same as our block that shows three. One less than four is three, you say. 
One less than four is three. Well done. Okay, let me put that one back together. I'll show you again. Let's choose this one. Two. There's my block that shows two. I'd like to find out what one less is. So I'm going to take my cubes and I'm going to make it fewer, smaller by one. I'm going to take one away. Now my tower does not show two. It shows less than two. It looks exactly the same as that block there. One less than two is one, you say. One less than two is one. Excellent. I'd like you to pause the video now, make your number blocks all the way up to 10, and have a play. Choose numerals, take one away, make it one less, and find out what number that equals. Perhaps you can draw it, or perhaps you could write the calculations to send to us. Press pause now. Well done, everybody. Thank you for your hard work this week in maths. We've explored quite a lot, haven't we? We, we looked at doubling, then we looked at one more, and then we looked at one less. You've done a really great job. Thanks ever so much for all the things that you've been sending through. They look fantastic. Really hard work. Okay, now that's it for our maths lesson today. There's a game to play next. A big game, a double game. Maybe you can play it outside. There are some instructions on how you can play in your living room too. I'd love to see some photographs of you playing. Okay, I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.